My name is Gatewood Galbraith, and I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. I'm up at the Marijuana Policy Project's Florey because I'm a real admirer of the MPPs, how effective they've been. I started out in 1971 to change the laws on marijuana and make it available and take it out of the criminal category. For 35 years, every day, I've gotten up to do that. And it's a real heartening experience to see a, a, another group come along and, and be as effective as the uh, Marijuana Policy Project has become. I'm the most successful independent political candidate in America for the last 60 years because I've hooked up and married the gun owners and the marijuana smokers. I went to the gun owners and I explained to them the conspiracy that keeps this plant from being grown for both medicine and fuel in this country and being conspiratorially oriented, the gun owners knew exactly what I was talking about. Then I went to the marijuana smokers and said, look, we ought to get these gun owners to smoke as good, good herb as we can <laughs> to make, make, sure, make sure that they're in the right frame of mind. So uh, in 1999, I ran as a Reform Party candidate uh, in the general election, got 15.3% of the vote for governor. And uh, in the year 2002, I ran as an independent in the congressional race out of central Kentucky and got 27% of the vote on a legal marijuana platform, among other things. So uh, after working at it for 35 years, I can see the, I can see the, the, the dam breaking down. I can see the levees being breached and uh, going to add as much weight as we can to, uh, to, to breach those levees even more. I, I, I feel a sea change going on in this country. The people are tired of being ruled by the petrochemical, pharmaceutical, military, industrial, transnational, corporate, fascist, elite, son of a bitches. And uh, they're rising up uh, to throw those folks off. Uh, you know, these people have bought out both major parties from the top down, and they view the Constitution and the Bill of Rights as impediments to the implementation of a new world order and global economy. And consequently, they're afraid of a, a plant like uh, cannabis uh, because it teaches that there's more than one perspective. It teaches that, uh, that, uh, that it is what you make it. It is nature's way of uh, explaining existentialism. And uh, it's got a lot of adherence to it. We're not going to bow down and kiss the man's foot uh, simply because they, they, uh, say that, uh, they say that we cannot plant a seed in God's ground and, and consume the green natural plant that comes up out of it. I mean, what part of inalienable rights don't they understand? I mean, how much more basic could it be besides you and your relationship with the natural cycle of things, where you can plant a seed in God's earth and consume the green natural plant that comes up out of it? Anybody that would try to intercede or interject into that relationship is up to no good, and that's exactly what uh, the, the monopolies in this country have right now, is they're going to take the people out of the calculations of a, a corporate bottom line, and that, that we're no longer a government of, by, and for the people, but a government of, by, and for the big special interest groups. And it's the people, the marijuana smokers, uh, like this group right here, and the individuals who care enough to make this an issue to illustrate just how far the government's overstepped its bounds. Those are the people I want to congregate with, and that's why I'm here with you beautiful people.